Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Welcome back to Next Generation. My name is Jen and today we will be making this DIY wooden sign. So this is a farmhouse rustic vibe and I absolutely love how it came out. It was super easy and of course inexpensive to make. We're just going to jump right into everything that you need to make it. First up, you will need a piece of wood for the back. I already had this piece at home, but they do have them super inexpensive at the hardware store. It is a thinner piece of wood. You don't need anything really thick for this DIY. And then you will also need some type of wood for the frame. So this depends on the thickness and the style that you want. So so I just got a one by two. I ended up getting a six foot board and it worked perfectly for this. You will also need some type of paint for the backing. I just use spray paint because it dries super quick. And then I also like the way you can still see the wood through the paint. You will also need some wood stain or paint for the frame and a foam brush to apply it. And then for the wording on your frame, you can either freehand paint it, you can use stickers. Since my handwriting isn't really pretty, I just used a decal, which I do sell right in my shop. And and as for attaching the frame on the border, you will need some type of glue. So I'm just gonna use this adhesive that I already had at home. You can also use this glue from the hardware store, or you can even use this Elmer's wood glue, which is super easy to use. And if you are planning to glue it, keep in mind that you will need some type of clamp or clip to hold it all together as it dries. And I'm just going to lean mine on a table, but if you do wanna hang it up, you will need some type of hook. Today's sponsor is Blush and & Bar, and they sell these beautiful stacking rings. As you can see, they are so shiny and sparkly and I absolutely love that about them because they are affordable. They sell silver gold and rose gold and as you can see they have opal options as well which is my favorite. I absolutely love how those look. That's the one I'm wearing right now. So if you would like to check them out here is their website. They also sent a code for my subscribers to give you guys a little discount so all of that information will be listed down below in the description if you are interested in checking them out. The first thing we're going to do is spray paint the board. So I did one coat let that dry and then added a second coat you can still see the wood detailing through the spray paint and I really like that effect because it does give it that rustic farmhouse vibe I'm going to measure out the size that I want the frame so that I can cut the wood if you don't have a saw at home you can get it cut at the hardware store but I'm gonna go ahead and mark my measurements and when you are making your measurements you want to be sure the measurement for the top and bottom you're including the sides of this board for the sides of the frame I'm going to measure from one end to the other so for the top and the bottom, you measure from end to end and you deduct three inches because the width of these boards are one and a half. So it's a total of three. Right after you cut it, it is a little sharp on the edges, so I like to really quickly go over it with some sandpaper and get all of the splinters off. Now we're going to stain all of the boards, so I'm just going to put a really thick layer of the wood stain on the top and the sides. Let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then I like to go in with paper towel and wipe the excess wood stain off. If you want it to be darker, you can add more wood stain and do this process a second time. But again, I like the way the detailing of the wood comes through the stain. So I'm gonna leave it as is now we're going to glue the frame onto the board And I'm going to add the clips on it and let it sit for 24 hours before I take them off Once you take your clips off you can paint your words or add your decals I'm first gonna see how I want them on the frame and then I'm going to apply all of the words And then once you have added your quote on your frame, you are done with this DIY. As you can see, it was super easy to make. If you do recreate it, please tag me in it so I can see your recreations. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.